What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video review. Today I'm doing the final piece from my live unboxing. This is the Iron Studios Falcon. Now this is from the Endgame line. They do have another Falcon from the Infinity War with a different pose and base. But of course I'm going through for the Endgame scene. So here he is. He is quite big for a one-tenth scale statue, especially because of this wingspan. But actually feels quite durable. You know, the wings insert via peg with a metal rod. They went in very smoothly. And it's just, his entire body's one piece outside the wings. Then he attaches to the base via a rod right here. So first, let's check out this base. So you got this brown mud rock look and then rubble and the Avengers logo. And I think that looks great. And then you got like rebar on each side. So I love how they have the Avengers logo and you can actually see it when you're displaying them, which is very cool. They do have the Avengers logo on multiple other pieces, but I think it looks best on him. So he's falling off that great detail on that Avengers logo. You can just see it. And then all that, look at that detail and paint job. And two giant rebars here. You can see the rust and dirt look. Very, very well done base. I think this one just has a phenomenal base. It looks very well done. It's not too big, obviously. But of the one tenths from the Endgame line, this is by far my favorite base so far. It just looks extremely well done with the rebar poking out and the Avengers logo. He's just flying across, you know, the destroyed Avengers building. So very, very cool base. Love the concept and paint job and the detail looks great. Now let's move on to Falcon himself. So he's obviously in a flying pose, which looks awesome how he's only on one leg right here. So they really went for a dynamic flying pose where he's about to punch something. I would have liked if they gave Switch out with guns as well. That would have been cool. You know, maybe just put a gun or something in there. Starting as boots, it has a very muddy, weathered look to it. It's clearly stepping in the mud. The other one has some mud effect as well. You can see the detail on the boots are extremely well done. Then you go on to the actual costume itself. There's texture detail all throughout. He has a very cool looking costume. I'm a big fan of Falcon. I think he's a cool character. Excited to see his new series on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, so his costume looks awesome. Tons of texture and detail. Shoulder pads, his arms. The likeness is definitely pretty freaking good. Not nearly as good as my one fourth scale, obviously, but for one tenth, they nailed it pretty freaking good. You can see the eyes behind the goggles. He even has, you know, like a five o'clock shadow beard type look. So it looks excellent, like the actor. And then the wings themselves, very similar to the one four scale wings. I'm pretty sure they're made of plastic, which is actually what you'd want, make it lighter and more durable. But they look great. It's quite big. That's at least a foot across. This one, I believe, is 13 inches tall. So, I mean, overall, it's a really fantastic looking piece. You can see size comparison to the massive statues. But for the one tenth, he's quite big. He's dynamic, excellent paint and details. So a very, very cool statue. Definitely a welcome addition. Excited to get Winter Soldier to display with him just because they're always together. Probably do them and Captain all together. Yeah, but I'm a big fan of this Falcon piece. I, th I think Iron Studios nailed it. They're shipping these out pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and check them out now in the entire end game scene, how we have it displayed currently. So we're gonna put him in there and I'll show you the whole thing now. Alrighty, so here is the setup. My Avengers Infinity War Endgame line. So 
it's going together quite nice. So excited to add a lot more Endgame statues in there. You see there's plenty of space for a lot more pieces in addition to my Vormir and Black Order up top, Thanos bus, the top above Black Panther. But here is the end game line. I got this beautiful detailed backdrop, very high quality. You can see spaceships and everything in there. Uh, so first we're putting Groot right here next to Ant-Man attacking Cole Obsidian. You got Thanos right here. And everyone's like attacking Thanos, all these guys are. So I plan to put the Spider-Man versus Outrider probably over there and maybe one other piece. The General Outrider here with Captain fighting Thanos, Winter Soldier, Black Panther, either Iron Patriot over here, or over here, but Thor there, Iron Man, I am Iron Man right in front of Thanos in the middle of the display. Pepper Potts in the back. Right there I'll do Scarlet Witch. So it's gonna look absolutely amazing when it's done, but here is Falcon. So I put him on a display riser. Any of my flying pieces, I'm gonna put on these display risers. A, to just make it look cooler. I love rising a flying character. I just think it looks better. So every single flying character will be on a riser outside of probably Iron Patrix. He doesn't look like he's in a flying pose. But everyone else that's in a flying pose will be like this. And by doing so, I'm allowed to put like the Winter Soldier right in front of him without blocking anything. So there it is. I think it looks really, really cool. And I'm very happy I'm doing this. Just need to get some more in. Black Panther, Winter Soldier are next. Then I'm guessing Thor. Uh, however, due to the coronavirus, lots of things are getting delayed. So unless it's on a ship already coming to America, there's gonna be quite a bit of a delay because of this coronavirus. But definitely we'll be getting two more here very soon, probably next week. And if you are interested in purchasing any Iron Studio statues, I would recommend going directly to their website, not through Sideshow or Big Bad Toy Store. It's cheaper going direct, the price is cheaper, and there's no tax. So you're instantly gonna be saving like about 10% more, plus there's generally coupons you can use. So uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below uh, to Iron Studio's website. Use that link, go to their website, buy some statues, pre-order them. There's only a certain pre-order time period and then once it's in stock, you can buy it. So I was unable to pre-order like the Captain and Pepper Pot, so I'll just buy them when in stock. But I pre-ordered my entire Endgame line uh, all through Iron Studios directly. It's cheaper than Sideshow. So in the link description below, get those pre-orders in if you're interested, because once these all sell out, they'll probably be hard to get, you know, every single character. But I'm quite happy with how this is turning out. I think it looks amazing. Very excited to add Winter Soldier and Black Panther. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.